coming back after all these years. La -ta 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 -ta. That's the way it is. All right, fam. In today's video, we are gonna talk about one of the biggest feuds in hip hop history: Biggie versus Pop. Let's go. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the squad. I encourage you, highly encourage you, to subscribe, turn on that notification bell, and please give this video a thumbs up so other people can see what's up. Guys, in today's video, we are gonna dive into Biggie versus Pac. Why? Because it's just something that should be taught in Hip Hop 101. You need to know where hip hop has been to know where hip hop is gonna go. For me, the reason why I got into hip hop was because of one very, very, very special song, and it was Changes by Pop. So, right off the bat, what I wanna let you guys know is this video's not gonna be a history lesson about Tupac and Biggie. If you guys wanna know about Tupac and Biggie, you guys can search for some documentaries, you guys can watch some videos on YouTube. After you watch this video, you guys can look up some articles, go on Wikipedia pages, all that good stuff, but be careful because you are gonna jump in, you are gonna run into some conspiracy theories stating that both of them may or may not be alive, it's an inside job, all that good stuff. You do that on your own. And then you come back to me and you're like, damn, this shit is crazy. So anyways, what we're going to talk about in this video is the battle between Biggie and Pop. We're going to talk about the music. That's all we're going to talk about. So as far as like Biggie's flow, we're talking about Biggie's music style. We're going to talk about Biggie's lyrics. And we're going to talk about Pac. Same thing. And obviously, these are not facts that I'm stating. This is all personal opinion. And obviously, I want to let you, I want, and obviously, I want you guys to let me know in the comment section if you guys think Biggie is a goat or Pac is the goat. So uh, let's start off with number one, flow. So as far as flow goes, Biggie is notorious for his flow. And the thing with Biggie's flow that I love is just there's a fluidity to it. The way I like to say it is he rides the beat, you know? And the perfect example of that is obviously Big Papa. Like Big Papa is just, it's a rap song, but it's just like mellowed out. But you can play that shit at the clubs, but it's just like so, it's just so laid back, so smooth, so chill. It's also baby making music, but it's just like, yeah, it's baby making music. But yeah, like he rides the beat, and my favorite part is just like, most of these think they be mad, can, but they be acting. Who they attracting with that line? What's your name? What's your sign? Soon as he buy that one, I just keep up from behind. I don't know, it's just like, the way I think about it is Biggie rhymed in cursive. Like he rapped in cursive. When he spit, he spit in cursive. That's the way I see it. That There's no other way to explain the way Biggie did it. Biggie spit in cursive. That's the way I feel. Like, for real, like, for me, Biggie was just smooth with it. Moving on, as far as Pac's flow goes, Pac was a little more poetic. Like, he was making statements. Like, like he was just, like, like, like Pac spit with passion. Like, he was just, like, making statements. Like, I'm back after, like, it's just, I don't know. It's just, like, so much, like, explosion. You know, let me serenade the streets of LA. Like, I don't know. This is just, that's how I feel as far as Pac's flow goes. So, the next thing we're gonna look at is their lyrics. So, obviously lyrics are a huge, huge determining factor on who's a good MC. So, as far as lyrics go, when it comes to Pac, Pac was more poetic. Pac was a studious dude, like, he took after, like, Shakespeare. Like, he was a poet. And if you get a chance, check out The Rose I Grew From Concrete, his book of poems. Dope. The way he expressed himself, he was so direct about it and in your face about it and he spoke about what his life was you know a black man in america and growing up in a bad neighborhood and growing up with you know the struggles that his mom endured and just the injustices of the world and how he perceived the world and this is clearly evident in most of his music all of his music if you think about it starting with changes moving on to biggie so biggie's lyrics the thing with biggie was that biggie was a little more chill he was more a little laid back. There are some tracks and there are very like, you know, they're very like deep. As far as Biggie goes, he was mostly known for, from what I remember, as far as like the music, it was just like having a good time, just vibe and everything was just like chill. Like more money, more problems. Hear that at the club, you know, you bounce when you like, when you riding, when you're cruising. And same thing with Big Papa. Big Papa was just, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Just like you're vibing at the house, you know, you're vibing at the crib with your friends. Same thing with Juicy. Like, Juicy is an anthem. If you listen, if Juicy comes on and you don't sing along, you are not, you can't, I'm not fucking with you. I'm not. I, I can't. I can't. Like, jokes aside, Biggie's lyrics are just like, 
a little more chill in my opinion you know he talked about you know being you know selling crack on the corner which is what he was doing before he started writing before he started spent before he became a rapper and you know he'd write about girls he'd write about you know getting high he'd write about his friends he'd write about money I'm saying and he did write about struggles but between big and Pac Pac was more Pac was more likely to write about struggle than Biggie was you know what I'm saying that's just the way I see it because like when I be going through I'm just like I need to listen to Pac because Pac is gonna be like you yeah as far as musicality music style obviously they both sound a little different even though they're in the mid 90s and it was you know the highlight of boom bap hip-hop Boom, 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 what up? But regardless, their, flow, their their music sounded different because Pop from the West Coast and Biggie is from the East Coast, even though Pop was born in the East Coast. But he said West Coast was his home, you know what I'm saying? You can't eat on that. So the thing was, Biggie's flow was inspired by East Coast New York style hip hop. When I think of hip hop in the 90s, I think of hip hop in New York, you know? And then, you look at Tupac, and Tupac was mostly influenced by West Coast hip hop because he was in the West Coast. So like Pac, you know, he has some love from Dr. Dre, and you know, California love, it just doesn't sound like anything you would have heard from the East Coast at the time. I don't think it sounds like anything you've heard from the East Coast ever, honestly, but because they were located on different coasts. Their music sounded different, but nonetheless, it's pretty dope. Both. So now that we've gone over Biggie's flow, Pac's flow, Biggie's lyrics, Pac's lyrics, musicality, all that stuff. As far as this, like the total package, you know, the branding, which is what we call it now. I look at Pac and for me, Pac was like the spoke person of like, you know, black man in America. And Biggie was just like the spoke person for the dope man in the corner. And I totally get it. You know, it's two different spectrums, but they make sense. Pac was a little more like, he had a message, you know what I'm saying? B was just like trying to have a good time and I'm trying to tell y'all how I feel about it. That's just the way I interpret it. That's just the way I feel. And like you hear Biggie songs and like for me personally, like I hear Biggie songs and I'm just like, I'm vibing, I'm just like chilling, I'm cruising, I'm having a good time. And then with Pac songs, there's a few that I do that with California Love and like I get around but for the most part, like, I shit you not. I don't know if it's because of that connection from hearing changes for the first time, but when I hear a Pac song, I get goosebumps. Like, I just, I get goosebumps. And it's just like, listening to Pac and, you know, the poetry that was changes, the poetry that was Brenda's Got a Baby, the poetry that was I Ain't Mad At You, Keep Your Head Up, it's just Hail Mary, Thug's Mansion, Ghetto Gospel, like, these songs, I listened to them, and they were the inspiration for why I started actually writing my own lyrics. I saw Tupac express himself. He was like, I'm expressing myself, and I'm telling you the stories that I live because this is my reality, you know? And I know he got a lot of heat for that. You know, they're like, oh, you're, you're, you know, you're glorifying this, you're glorifying that. He's like, I'm not glorifying anything. I'm telling you my life. These are the things that happened in my life because this is the life I live. So that's one thing that I have to thank Pac for. I think it's pretty obvious. I've made it super, super obvious that when it comes to the battle of Biggie and Pac, I'm team Pac all the way. But obviously I'm biased because Pac was the first one I heard. But I can't deny that Biggie has talent. Like to, to freestyle like that, you know, to just like have fun with it. And like his rhyme scheme, like he'll pause and then the next, like the, the word will continue, like shit like that. The thing about Pac and Biggie was that Tupac was a storyteller. Tupac told great stories through his songs, and so did Notorious B.I.G. Told amazing stories through his songs. You hear a Pac song, you hear a Biggie song, and you can envision what they say. Big Pop, I'll never forget. Biggie's in the clubs trying to make it to a girl. I won't, like, I can see that in my head. Same thing with Dear Mama, you know? Dear Mama, I heard Dear Mama in my head, and I was just like, wow. Like, I just, wow, but, you know? And he was talking about his mama, but in my head, I'm visioning my mama with everything that he was saying. That being said, Let's talk about my favorite Notorious B.I.G. Biggie Small songs. So, number one, Juicy, come on now. You know very well. Like, that sample, very good job on that sample, man. That's dope as fuck. Number two, Fuck You Tonight. Fuck You Tonight, it's just like, mm. Some say the X make the sex spec. 
spectacular. Let me lick you from your neck to your back. Ah, come on now. And then last but not least, Big Popple. Come on. Come on now. Come on now. Come on. Those are my top three Biggie songs. Top three. Top three. Top three, without a doubt. Move on over to Pac. And with Tupac, my favorite songs are Changes, Dear Mama, and Two for Love. And obviously, you guys should know because I talked about it. So yeah, in the battle of Tupac versus Biggie, for me, Tupac wins. So let me know in the comment section if you guys think Tupac is the GOAT, Biggie is the GOAT. I want to know. Guys, that's going to be it for today's video. BTW rocking this awesome Biggie shirt that I got at Walmart. Funny thing is, every time I wear this shirt, people are like, who is that? Is that Michael Jackson? Is that your is that your kid? Is that your cousin? I was like, no, it's, it's, it's Biggie. They're like, who's Biggie? I'm like, what? Get out of here. All right, fam. That's going to be it for today's video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. I'll see you in the next video. And as always, don't sleep on me. Baby, peace.